Will Shrapnel, founder and managing director of Helimods. Uh, we're here at Orange today um, looking at the powered aeroloader integration into their fleet of AW139 aircraft. This is the powered aeroloader or the PAL. It's uh, an integration of a Striker Power Pro XT into an AW139 aircraft. But when we started looking at the challenge of stretcher loading technologies and how we could bring them into the air environment, we really aim to start at, at the patient and the paramedic and understand really what's the best technology that's available that lets that paramedic give the best possible care to that patient. And so that's where the road technologies were really strong there and, and, and certainly providing the best solutions. Um, but then a lot of restrictions around how that could make it into the air environment um, for a number of reasons, from a certification perspective, also a weight and performance perspective. So yeah, we, we aim to solve this problem by really understanding what's the best possible technology that we can get into the aircraft and then we worked our way up and out from there. My name is Justin Smith and I'm Chief Flight Paramedic at Orange. We wanted to incorporate um, a stretcher system into our fleet uh, that uh, was forward-looking. Uh, the power caught XT and the Helimods interior really fit the bill for that. Um, it allows for seamless integration of all of our equipment uh, onto a bridge system that doesn't interfere with patient transfer uh, from one bed to another. Um, it's really an extension of our paramedics. Uh, it acts as a tool uh, that uh, we can bring to the patient side. Um, we're able to bring all of our equipment right to the patient and we're not uh, we don't need to take it off uh, or remove it, replace it. Uh, it's really a seamless transition from, uh, from bed to bed. Feedback from the crews has really been outstanding. To date, we have uh, completed over 940 uh, patient transport with the Helimod interior. Yeah, it's been a really strong collaboration that uh, really sees this new technology flow into a fleet context uh, with a long-term view of, of how that's supported and, and uh, maintained through life.